Hi everyone, this is Cheryl with the CraftNet32 and I'm here today to share with you a Valentine's Day card. And this card is I've made for Bethany's challenge. She's BA Crafty Girl. And her challenge was to make a card, a tag, a treat bag for Valentine's Day. And we weren't allowed to use red or pink. We also had to use at least two stamps. And so this is what I've come up with. I started off by cutting out two hearts um, from Plantin School Book, a yellow one and a white one. And I chose yellow because my oldest son, that's his favorite color. In the white heart, I have stamped with a really cute stamp set from Lon Fawn called Be Mine. And so in the white one, I had stamped the tail in the bee. The bee, I colored in using some Distress Ink and um, a water pen. And I thought it was really cute. I was really happy with how it turned out. Then for the sentiment, I um, used a paper tree ink banner. I think it's a banner. Anyways, little die. And then I cut it in half and I stamped Be Mine on it from the Lawn Fawn stamp set. And then with all of the edges, I distressed it with some antique linen. Just to kind of give it some nice depth and I guess a little warmth as well. This background I absolutely love. It is from a Cricut embossing folder. Um, and I love it. It's called Hugs and Kisses. And I discovered this at a local scrapbook store but during Christmas. And so... I've been really patiently waiting to use it, and so I love it. Um, I thought it was really cute. My son is nine, and so he's getting a card full of hugs and kisses from his mom. On the inside, I used a My Pink Stamper stamp to stamp out Happy Valentine's Day, and that's from her Happiest Moments stamp set. And I'm just really happy with this card. I've been wanting to make it for a little while. I kind of had it mapped out, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Also, around the blue, I used some blue distressing. I'm not sure of the color. Anyways, just to distress the edge. It didn't really show up very well though, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. I should have done it a little bit more, but I distressed it after I had embossed it, so I was really worried about it not kind of getting in all of the little nooks and crannies of the embossing. So I didn't really do too much of it. Anyways, that's my card, and I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!